Okay, so um, basically this is phase one of um, my Beetle Empire. <laughs> so these two are, <coughs> excuse me, um, 90 litre tubs. So they hold 90 litres inside them. Now, uh, what's going to happen next is I've got uh, a massive, massive, and I mean enormous, order of hardwood sawdust. So sawdust of oak and beech come in today. And what I'll be doing then is in these boxes, in these tubs, I'll be starting to make rhino and stag beetle substrate. Now, beetles eat wood basically, but they can't eat fresh fresh wood because they need something to break down uh, the lignin that's inside the wood and then to make them able to actually eat it. And the way you do that is there's two ways to do it. So one is you can either use um, mushrooms. So the mycelium goes through the wood. The mycelium is the mushroom itself. The bits that you don't see, not the fruit. And that will then break down and feed off the wood. Uh, breaking everything down and then the beetles can eat that afterwards. Now that's a really long process. Okay, so that takes about well, really about two to three years to, to do it. And you do that by um, inoculating large lump, uh, large logs of wood with um, the mushroom itself. I'm, I'm using uh, oyster mushrooms and I'll show you that in a, in a different video altogether. But for this method, this is the second method, you basically ferment the, um, the sawdust. And the saw uh, fermenting the sawdust makes um, the f some fungus then be able to go through it and break down everything. And you do it with sawdust, hardwood sawdust, has to be hardwood. I can't, you know, I can't enforce that enough. It has to be hardwood. And then um, you add uh, wheat bran and yeast. And then that ferments. Now it'll be two months for uh, flake soil for um, stag beetles. And then anything then from two to six months, around about the four months usually, depending on the temperatures, uh, for rhinoceros beetles. They like a dark, more, uh, more fermented substrate. Now, the reason we ferment the substrate is that if you don't, then you'll get what's called minor males. And minor males have small horns. And obviously being, you know, look, what you're looking for in the beetle world is the biggest horns on the biggest males. And this fermenting method makes what they call major males. So males with the large, large horns. Sound. So the next clip I'll show now is going to be uh, the process of actually doing it. So the saw has arrived, uh, not from Ikea. And uh, the doggos are uh, very, very, very curious as to what it is. Hey, Jerry. Jerry, speak. 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 Hi. Shh. Speak. No. Oh, speak. Judy. Alright, you're gonna watch a dog fight. Dogs. Shh. So yeah, so now that is gonna go into that. Well, there's a few of them, isn't there? So uh I'll catch my breath now. I'll uh I, I couldn't get the bags in here, so the guy had to help me get the bags in by bringing them in. And they're too heavy to go up the stairs, and I'm certainly not moving them with my bad back. So, uh, let's give it a go. Mind the dogs eating their food. Okay, so that's two 90 litres filled up with hardwood sawdust. Now I'm just waiting for the wheat bran and yeast to arrive. And then I'm going to add it together, the wheat bran, in a ratio of 5 to 1 it's by weight. 5 to 1 and then just a sprinkling of yeast on top then to start the activation activated yeast as well 
and then uh, that will be good. The first two done, they'll be put under the stairs and they're going to be left there for these ones are going to be in the back, so they're going to be the four to six months ones, so they're for the rhino beetles. And then the other two boxes then will be the between two and four months, so for the for the stag beetles. Looking good, huh? Doggo's eating their food, busy, busy eating foods. And um, so the next clip now will be me just doing the ratios and then setting them in for winter. Okay, now that's the bran now added to it. So it's, uh, I bought a massive 20 kilo bag of bran. So, sawdust doesn't weigh as much as I thought. So that one is um, just about under 20 kilos. That one's just over 20 kilos. Altogether, now it's just to add the um, yeast, the activated yeast, and damp, make it and you know put water in it so it's all nice and damp and then they will literally go under the stairs and uh, I'll leave them about 20 days to start with start the activation and then once that's done you need to stir them once every couple of days three days for anything up to six months <laughs> You know, know why beetles are such a ball ache and why they're so expensive. So now that I've uh, mixed the wheat bran and the water through it to make it nice and damp, but not too damp, uh, you'll see the difference in colours. Once on the left is dark, and I put some holes in it ready to put the yeast. And now the one on the right's got to be done next. So that'll be another hour of my life done the drain. Okay, cool. So, uh, I've had to stop. That's three. So that's three times 90 liters of uh, soy, well, sawdust ready to be fermented. Nice dark color. And I'll uh, whack them now underneath the, sta underneath the stairs, like I said. And they'll stay there for months. I haven't, as you can see, I haven't actually finished the first bag of sawdust yet. So, potentially I can make another four maybe? Another four of them or five of them at a push. But, uh, well, well happy with that. And uh, thank you for joining me. So, like, comment, subscribe everyone. Keep coming back to the channel if you like what I do. Remember, beetles are coming. <laughs> There's a Patreon as well if you want to support me even more. And uh, most importantly of all, stay safe guys. Ta-da. Oh, fuck, stretch.